Hello again, and uh, I hope you've watched some of my other videos where I've reflected on the power of story and narrative wherever I happen to be. And you can see where I am right now, okay? Clearly, I'm at the Statue of Liberty. And that causes me to reflect on the power of symbols to tell the story of a country or of your organization. I want to draw a couple of lessons from this that you might find useful in the way you lead your organization or your team. Now, when one looks at the Statue of Liberty, of course, this is much more than just an amazing construction in a beautiful location. It's actually a symbol of a bigger story. The story, the narrative of the United States is critical to the mission and the, the real, the life of the country. And notwithstanding anything that's happening right now or the leadership of the, the country right now, Nevertheless, the US stands for certain principles, liberty of course being prime among them, and this symbol is perhaps the prime symbol of that idea. Without this kind of uh, image that is used everywhere within this country, that story that people understand and believe, and right to the very core if you're an American, would not be quite so true. This can be an important lesson for anyone leading any organisation because if you have clearly articulated your own story, your own vision, your values, your value proposition, what's the difference between you and the other guys in the marketplace? My question to you is, how do you symbolise that regularly? What would be the symbols that your employees, that your customers, your investors, anyone who deals with you would attach to that story to reinforce it on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. That may be a physical manifestation of the story. I'll give you a little example. Banks historically uh, have used very substantial buildings to of course symbolize the solidity and trust that you can have in those banks. Even if they're on some high street somewhere, uh, we all know the building that is or once was the bank building because it conveyed a story of trust and solidity, even though actually money is a complete fiction, that's another story. Uh, nevertheless, banks conveyed a sense that they were safe and trustworthy through the symbol of a solid building. Um, what do you use in your organization? I've been working with an organization actually in, um, in the States, and the new CEO really understands this. They're a, they're a, a, a web-based, they're a global internet business but actually he feels that their offices don't show that, they don't symbolize that, they don't say it on a daily basis, this is who we are. And so he's gonna change that. That's so important to telling the story of the organization, of the future of the organization. There may be other physical things you can use with your customers, little symbols, little, little giveaways, whatever it is, maybe the way in which you present yourself that really says, this is who we are, this is what we stand for. But it's also more than just something physical, it's also in the experience people have the organization how do you if you're really clear what you stand for what makes you special different great how do people experience that on a regular basis are there things that you do the way your things your people do that that symbolize that bring to life that manifest that story consistently when i look at the statue of liberty when you look at the statue of liberty you don't just see a structure you see a much bigger story brought together in this amazing symbol and i urge you to think how do we do that in our organization too?